Hollywood Boulevard, Hollywood, California, and this is a massive, massive event we're going to. It's called Sunset GT. And we're entering LA. This is it, we have made it Sunset Boulevard. Now the Lamborghini owner in front of us, super cool guy, he's instructing me to stay out of the right lane right here because um, there's potholes everywhere and you blow out your suspension or bottom out or something like that. But anyways, I'm so excited about this because there's been no Sunset GT or well, cars and coffee right here in this main strip um, next to LA since um, the start of everything shutting down. There should be a ton of people here today and also I think McLaren is debuting an all new spec version of the Speed Tail. So, so we should see it uh, today here in person. We got pure Skittles going on right now, guys. A, a green Lamborghini Huracan and a bright orange McLaren 600 LT. Okay, guys, here we are. We have made it VIP parking right here with Ogara um, for Sunset GT. Everyone's outside right now. Get ready for this. It's gonna be so exciting. It's a Sabre right next to us. Four GT down there. This is amazing. All the cars are pulling in right now. Let's check this out. SVJ, Lambos everywhere. So what they're doing is they're splitting everyone up in a car. So we have McLaren's over there, Lambos down this alley. Straight ahead of us, more Lambos, STOs down there. Wow. And here we have the Remac Nevera, the brand new Remac. Fastest car in the world. Got a crazy lineup right now. Everyone's pulling in, SV, Porsche, GT2 RS. Also an F8. Yep, Carrera GT. Oh my gosh, you don't see these very often. Heard they blow their clutches pretty easily though. You can easily see the design characteristics, how similar they are to the 918 Spider. Just there are a few out here today. And another 600 LT right here. The new Remac, the fastest car in the world, faster than a Tesla Model S Plaid. So what do you guys think of the Remac Nevera? The design looks kind of kind of boxy almost. Um, a lot of harsh angles. 315 ZR20 Pilot Sport 4S, so not even not even Cup 2s. So you see that that's the thing, you know? Once you move into a certain tier of speed. The car is be incredible, right? But uh, I wonder what the experience is gonna be like. Just pure G-forces? Uh, I'd love to find out. So the parking is filling up so fast. Our friend with the Lambo, unfortunately, is way out back. I'm in line still. Luckily, we got in next to the McLaren lineup over there. Look at this lineup right here. This is absolutely insane. So crazy. I cannot believe we've got an actual parking spot. We almost didn't get one. But uh, guys, we lucked out, drove two hours, but we did it, we got parking. Urus, AMG, GT, can't wait to see the Black Series coming out. And the lineup just keeps going and going. Got a Pista down there, G2 RS. Ferrari row right here, Pista after Pista after Pista after F8. So you can see how similar the, the front end style is between the F8 Tributo and then also the Pista with the S duct up front. These cars are so much fun to drive. After tracking one of these, the F8s, and then the Pista with the Cup 2Rs, I mean, the grip is absolutely unbelievable. 
next up though, we're, we're gonna drive the GT2 RS down there. That'd be fantastic. But how is everyone gonna, how's anyone gonna get in now? ZL1, 1LE, a demon over there, right? Got cops shutting places down, the street down. There's another green Lamborghini. Um, oh my gosh, guys, this is insane. We would have never gone parking. We signed up too. Unreal, major shout out to Ogara of uh, Beverly Hills. Um, because they, they really hooked us up on this one. by Remax. We've got a Remax in front of us and behind us, guys. This is so weird seeing the Remax actually drive. Fully electric. They don't make any noise. <laughs> I'm over here with my loud V8. Look at that, guys. Two Remaxes. The Concept One and the Nevera. This is so crazy to see. I mean, I, I can't believe they're actually over here. They're multi-million dollar cars. There's none of them actually out. And they're just driving down um, Sunset Boulevard right now. This is so cool to see, guys. They would definitely uh, dust me. I don't get near them to race them. Rev awesome car. Rev it. <laughs> Beautiful car. Nice. You're faster than the Tesla Plaid. You know that, right? They don't want to admit to it, do they? <laughs> <laughs> well, they have it. Um, straight from one of the main pre people driving the Remac. Um, are you faster than the Plaid? They said yes, like, like it was a joke almost, the Plaid. And then um, they said Tesla doesn't want to admit it. And of course, of course they don't want to admit it. This is the coolest thing ever. They're going for it. Say bye to the Remax, multi-million dollar car. So that is hilarious. So they have it straight from Remax. You're faster than the Plaid, right? The, the guy just, it was the most hilarious, um, like, yes, like, yeah. Yeah, we're faster. Tesla doesn't want to admit it, do they? And full on, he agreed. He said Tesla does not want to admit it. So isn't that hilarious? Hollywood City Tours, come check out all the exotic cars going up and down Rodeo Drive. Come check out the $3 million um, Remax in the Bugatti Veyrons or the measly um, entry-level exotics like this car and the Lamborghini in front of us. No, I'm just kidding. These cars are amazing. It's really funny seeing that price gap though between you're driving next to a multi-million dollar car but then you're in one of these too. It's like, how can it get even better? No one's ever seen three Remax on the road at once, you know? And um, it's really cool seeing it. Now, I know I made a video about the whole plaid saying how I would not buy one, it doesn't excite me. A Remax would excite me because it actually looks cool and it's the whole car is centered around performance. The, the Tesla plaid to me is, a, first, it's a everyday commuter with four doors, then secondly, it's a fun car. So my front end lift is up, so it looks more awkward, I'd say. Look at the reflections, though. 
with, with, with the McLaren and the uh, Lamborghini. The coolest thing is looking at the reflection of your own car in the, in the mirror of the window. Down there we've got, I think a red eye charger, a 765 LT, and then an SVJ way down there. That's so cool to see. Nice car. Good. Love that car, man. It's so much fun. <laughs> awesome, man. Have a nice one. Very nice guy. He's got a roof scoop and everything. And check that out randomly in SF90. So I'm uh, yep, just driving around uh, randomly here in uh, LA in an SF90. That is so cool to see. We have made it to a, a pretty cool looking uh, lookout point with the McLaren and then the bright green uh, Lamborghini Huracan down there. Um, such a fun day today. Hitting non-stop events, hanging out with the LV Lambo right here. Make sure to check out its Instagram. Um, anyways though, it's these cars, they are meant to be enjoyed. You know, you want to drive them, you want to take them to the canyons like this. And when you do that, it's just non-stop enjoyment. Nonetheless, guys, stay tuned because car week is... Well, well, it's it's beginning. I'll see all of you up north in Monterey. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button or just help me out. Also, subscribe for much more great content coming out your way. I'll see all of you in the next episode.